you've ever had an ember come out of the chamber and onto your hand, hit that like button. Hello, friends. Mark Spade here. As always, hope this video finds you well. Hope that you were enjoying a warm pipe, a favorite blend, and a comfy chair. I am enjoying my Savinelli uh, 606 KS. And in it, the last of the Peterson Flake. Tends to be if I open up a tin of Peterson Flake, I just smoke it. It doesn't ever find a jar. Just smoke it out of the tin till it's gone. And uh, this one lasted a bit longer than usual. Took some breaks, you know. It's not a favorite, but it's, um, I don't know, something about it. It's like I open it up, just gotta smoke it. Anyway, today's video is about the purpose and the pain. See, there's been a lot of stuff in my life and in your life that's happened that has probably seemed pretty useless. You know, it was, it was just senseless, senseless pain. Right? Something that just shouldn't have happened. Something that, by all accounts, is not okay. It's not right. It's not been productive. And you can't really find this silver lining to it. You know, you you lose a relationship with somebody and you can say, oh, well, it was that that made me grow and appreciate, you know, whatever. But that doesn't always happen, does it? And that's difficult. You know, for me, there's a pretty good period of time where there was a lot of stuff that happened and couldn't really see a reason for it. And it brought a lot of other parts of my life into question. You know, it was difficult, difficult, tough questions that just simply can't be answered as to why this would happen. And so it was, it was tough, you know, especially having, you know, a belief in God and believing in, in you know, a, a real purpose for everything. You know, it's a real belief of mine. And I had to sort that one out because it's one of those things that people say a lot. And it's one of those things that I, I felt I really did believe, but man, did it piss me off when people would say that. Well, there's a purpose for everything. Yeah, well, there ain't a purpose for this, you know. It's hard to see. But I think that some things and I, I, I don't want to give a bunch of first-hand examples I don't really want to give any examples at all I want this to be vague because I think it's universal and I think that sometimes giving examples takes away from that from that universal truth right you can plug it in anywhere so therefore i don't need to plug it in for you and if we're being honest we ain't that close you know as much as i like to share with y'all as much as i like to talk about things and and you know whatever it, it's it's something that sometimes these things are just a little too intimate and it's not something that i want to do on this channel anyhow But there is a good that comes from sharing. There's this real benefit from sharing. And so find a safe place where you can share some of your pain. Right? Where you can really talk it out with somebody. Whether that's a therapist or a group of friends. You know, so a place with no judgment. And a place that people just want to hear you and, and perhaps even help you. There's that. But there is, in fact, purpose in all pain, in all difficulty. There is a reason for it. But sometimes those reasons aren't necessarily a 
what we want them to be. They're not necessarily what we want them to be. As a matter of fact, some of the most difficult moments in human history, in, in human life, some of these things are just so senseless at the end of the day. Right? They do have a purpose. Well, what is it? Well, what that purpose is, is that that purpose is resilience. That purpose is relatability. You see, if you can, if you can bear that pain, if you can face that, deal with it, live it out, feel it all, and still come to terms and not be defined by it, and still live a, a meaningful and successful life that isn't defined by previous hardships. The purpose in that is you made it. You're still here. You're still doing. You're still living. You're still succeeding. You're still thriving. You're still making making goals, right? You're still you're still dreaming. You're still pursuing something. You're still in the race. That's the purpose right there because other people are going to face the same things that you do. They are. You might put yourself on an island, especially in the midst of some kind of a suffering. You might put yourself here and say, nobody else is dealing with this. Well, I can tell you there's nothing new under the sun and that somebody out there has dealt with the same thing you have. To one extent or another. They have. And what you have then is this relatability. And you don't have to force your process on somebody else. But what you can do is you can model for the world that despite the pain, despite the setback, despite the adversity, the obstacle, they can still live a life worth living. That's the purpose in it. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff out, out in life that, that God, it bum, is it tough, man? It's tough. And say that, it's hard. You're tired, you're angry, you're sad. That's okay, all that's okay. But what happens next? What happens next was your decision to keep going, your decision to live, your decision to continue to make a difference your decision to overcome this thing. And I don't mean ignore it. I mean your decision to deal with it and come out on the other side. Your decision to go through that fire, right? That's the purpose. That's all it is. There doesn't have to be anything more than that. There doesn't have to be some great treasure at the end of that quest. It's just the fact that you've made it. Your metal was tested and you made it. And sometimes, boy, are we tested. Sometimes it's difficult. Don't shortchange that. Don't reduce that. Don't ever reduce that. There's difficult stuff in this world. Life ain't easy. But the purpose, the purpose isn't always about you. It's not about the people that you know. It's not about the people that it happened to necessarily. It's just about the fact that you made it through and can show somebody else that there is a way to get through X, this thing. You can do it. Other people have done it. Other people have made it. Nothing has been too big for anybody. Now, unfortunately, there's we all know somebody that gave up on that one. We all know somebody that tapped out one way or another. And that's unfortunate. And you can see where that really wasn't a preferred end, where that really wasn't a good way of being. My last video, I talked about, you know, putting myself in a cage. Sometimes that's that end. Right? I don't mean something so final, right? I, I just mean sometimes we give up. 
We don't want to try anymore. Well, I would, I would challenge you to try. Because in trying, eventually you'll push through and then you can show other people how to do the same. You can show other people that it is in fact possible. And that's the purpose in it. Pain is temporary, always, always. And it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that something won't continue to be painful for a long time, but you can reduce that. It doesn't have to be as raw and as, as, as fresh, burning, bleeding open as it was in the beginning. It can be reduced. It can still be hurtful to think back on. It can still be difficult to, to, it can be difficult. But you don't have to be limited by it. It doesn't have to be as severe as it is now, or perhaps was for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be that. And so let's let's kind of redefine the cliche. Right? Purpose in the pain doesn't mean that something amazing is going to come out of it that you can just readily observe, right? But what perhaps is most amazing is the impact that, that can have on somebody else's life for the simple fact that you made it through. And with that, I'm Mark Spade. Thanks for watching.